<laughs> what up friends uh, I have not done a video in so long I've just been working on observing and, and learning and researching uh, for the different series that I'm involved in right now the the sun sign compatibilities the mercury and sun combinations finishing the, the last Uranus uh, videos I gotta do in any case uh, yeah I'm, I'm very busy on that but I, I just haven't I don't know, I've been so specialized, you know, I haven't really gotten a chance to just talk about about, about life and uh, some ideas and, you know, I think I've talked about this a bit in the past, but I don't, it, it'd be good to do an update vid for just how useful this, this amazing psychological tool that is astrology, that is with my experience in research, tropical astrology especially at just how incredibly profound it is and how helpful and how happy I am that I have it throughout my days. I'm now 24. Uh, I've been making videos and doing uh, professional readings since January of 2013. Uh, so almost three years now, just a couple more months and be three years. And, uh, you know, I discovered astrology in around uh, late August, early September of 2011. So in that respect, it's been a good solid four years, just over. And I just, I, I just can't, I can't even begin to express how grateful I am that this tool is in my life. At how helpful it's been in, in navigating all of the different waters that we have to go through in life, whether it's interpersonal relationships and connecting to other people and understanding them, uh, understanding myself and not, you know, <laughs> having a nervous breakdown when I look at myself in the mirror because it's, 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 it's trippy, of course, like, you know, I'm, we're all human beings, doesn't matter how much we study, whatever, even something as amazing and evolutionary and, and enlightening as astrology. But it, it, you know, even in that respect, it's nice to look in the mirror and go, wow, that's, I see, you know, the, the Leo, my rising Leo, I see my Gemini, I see my, my cancer, I, wow, and not just, you know, about seeing it, but I feel it, I get it. Life is so incredibly bizarre for all of us. <laughs> And anything that can help us to just understand as accurately and effectively as possible ourselves and other people is just a gift. It really is. And it's, it, you know, no matter how much, uh, and it's not, it's not, uh, no matter how much discrimination I get, and even if it's not, uh, for example, life threatening or, uh, you know, it, it's, uh, I'm not trying to, Sound like, oh, I'm so persecuted or anything. But let's let's face it, you know, having hand tattoos in the first place, let alone having astrological symbols, and, and some people when they ask, they, they just know, you know, if they're from a definitely a more... It's it's un... so much to talk about. Um, especially if they're from a more dogmatic religious tradition. And, and astrology is not a religion. That's what it, it's, it's very frustrating for me. Not only is it extremely useful, but it's... It's this really rich spiritual tradition that is completely free of that religious dogma. It's completely free of telling people how to think and what to think. And, and despite what some people may think of, oh, well, you are you are defined by your signs. You are this. You are that. It's it's not. That's not the tool at all. You're misusing the tool. It's almost like having it backwards. You know, <laughs> this incredible, incredible tool frees you. It opens you up. It allows you to just be yourself and to not care what other people think. And so even in those times where astrology has gotten me in a bit of uh, hot water, I still, I, especially in those moments, you know, I'm not thinking, oh God, oh, I'm not, I'm not, you know, uh, for example, before that, I, I would have been so hyper, I, I would have been so sensitive. I would have been so hypersensitive. And, and I'm still a very sensitive person, all that cancer energy, you know, that Leo, but, I'm freed. I really am freed of, of other people's reactions. Now, they can still be disturbing. They can be still frustrating, whatever. But it's just so nice to know that should I look at that person's chart 
if I have the opportunity, you know, um, to see that. And I don't need to look at a person's chart to, to get this piece, but it's just good to know this, that if I were to check out the astrological circumstances, their chart, the transits and whatnot, um, transits affecting me, maybe somehow I had unconsciously created that situation in some way. But no matter how I approach it, I just, I embrace it. And I do that with every moment in my life now. And I can't even begin to tell you how effective it's been and how much it's changed in my life. Because before being a Gemini, Mercury and Gemini, and some of my other energies, especially all my first house Aries energies, I I did have good intentions, of course, before. You know, we're all born with good intentions. And if we reinforce that in ourselves, then that comes forth. And honestly, I did do that growing up. but And it was nice to be, you know... Uh, to whatever degree, some kind of positive force in people's life. I, I really enjoyed that, especially throughout high school. But with astrology, you are, I, I, it has steadied me in such a incredible way. And again, this isn't just some magical savior tool. This is, this is something that you have to really invest in. You have to seek to understand and to not just take in blind faith, but to question just to go huh okay that reading said this or or this transit is supposed to be this what does it mean so i have to search for the, the meaning myself because ultimately who am i searching for myself and if i can't make it make sense to me how am i going to make sense of it in general and so again it's it's steady me as i was saying before and how, um, even with those good intentions, there'd be times I'm just like, I would get caught up in the, the apparent futility of life. Of What does this all matter anyways? Why don't I just get apathetic? Why can't I just give up? It's way easier than caring and not necessarily reaching my goals. And, and who, like, how, how do I know that that person, you know, all these fears, all of these fears. And again, astrological, I can break it down, but long story short, just human suffering self-inflicted that's what would pop up in my life every now and then before i i had undertaken this journey at this adventure of of seeking to under of really of coming to terms understanding and i am under no illusion of you know I, i'm always learning i'm always seeking to understand i don't make these videos like oh i know everything that's that's not at all where i'm coming from i'm just you know i'm kind of doing a uh, here, this is what I'm thinking, this is where I'm at right now, uh, in the midst of this greater journey of seeking understanding, again, myself, others, the world, just as much as possible, because this understanding is so amazing, it helps so much to understand just yourself, let alone other people, and, and it's on a vaster level, it's not just knowledge, it's this incredible, beautiful system, it really does promote wisdom in ways that I can't even think of another system that comes even close. And as much as I love philosophy, as much as I love spirituality, there's just nothing out there that is as psych psychologically driven and and solid. I mean, we're looking at astronomical data. That is, as I've said so many times, that is what astrology is, is psychology and astronomy linked. And you, you know, of course you can, uh, look at the situation in a, in a, of our solar system in a variety of ways with the, for example, the different systems. We have the Vedic with the constellations, tropical with the, the movement of the suns and the seasons, or the sun and the seasons and whatnot. But ultimately it's, it's hard data and whatever perspective you use, you can't, especially with the tropical one, again, my personal, uh, the one that I, I find really, really functions extremely accurately. Uh, according to my own experience, and, and I, I've checked out uh, Chinese, I've checked out Vedic, but as per scientific solidity, I mean, the sun, our seasons, different planets in our solar system, it's, it's the same as it's been for thousands of years with the different equinoxes, the solstices, basically our path in relation to the sun guiding us with our, our different seasons, our different months, our these different energies that pop up in our lives time and time and time and time and time and time and time again. 
it's been so fun to consciously chart that. And again, I'm under no illusion that I'm, you know, I, 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 I still, uh, you know, I, I, I question myself at every step of the way, and not just as an astrologer, but as a human being, you know, of, does this work? Does this make sense? Is this true? Am I doing everything I can do? What else should I learn? What else? What new? What, how can I improve? And in the midst of that, I, I've just reached such a, a really great place, a, a really calm, really loving place. And again, I'm human. I make mistakes. I, I've struggled with, uh, I've had my struggles with, with all this. Uh, as per ego and whatnot, because this is a, a really heady power, and I think that's something actually I've never talked about, is <sighs> no matter who it is out there, we all seek to be understood, and we all seek to understand. And I think that is something that's really important to keep in mind with astrology, is ultimately no amount of understanding the world can get through to somebody if they're not seeking to understand and also everybody has to understand themselves more than anybody else can possibly understand them and I don't mean to imply that we should all be secretive with others I what I'm trying to say is we need to really seek to understand ourselves so that we Oh, come on, come here. Sorry, distracted. Um, we we really need to seek to understand ourselves. So, I mean, because that's that's what greater joy is there in life. And you know, I know I'm biased. I, I'm a Gemini, and my sons and us Aquarius. And I seek. I I need to understand, and I will never ever stop. But um. That is our greatest, there, there's just such, I can't even begin to go into how much peace and, and love that this system has helped me reach. And so much so that it is, again, it's, it is a bit heady sometimes. You have to calm your ego and you have to remember that you are you, you don't, uh, as great as this system is, it's just good to keep it in perspective. That's what I'm trying to say. And so, as much, again, as much as this video is extolling the virtues of astrology, it is, it's so potentially powerful in so many ways that you have to be responsible and you have to be humble and stay humble and, and not just on the outside, but where it really counts, within. And just seek to understand. Don't make judgments. Again, inside or outside, just seek to understand. So, yeah, it's I, I, I look forward to continuing this journey always. Um, for those who are really, you know, keyed into my channel and when videos come out, uh, I'm sorry it's taking so long, but I, I can't rush the process. I won't rush the process. It'll happen when it's the, the right time is there, but it, I'm doing the field work, so they're they're just going to pop out. You know how it is. I won't do videos for months, and then 20 videos comes out, and they're all like 40 minutes each. <laughs> so, in any case, um, I just want to share that thought, and I hope that astrology, I hope that life is, is going great for you, and that, you know, astrology is, is working for you as a tool, and you continue to explore and get different perspectives as I do and to never, never stop, you know, and never reach a point where you're like, oh, good, I know everything, <laughs> you know, and oh, I can explain anything to anyone about anything. It, it, no, just keep learning. And, and that's, again, that's, that's my biggest message in all this is as much as the peace and the solace it's given me, it's a tool more than anything. It's not a destination. It's, it's, uh, that 
vehicle you use to travel to a new place and it's just getting better with time and there's always new places to travel to and um, just to keep going to enjoy it uh, yeah I could be going for life you know let alone the journey of astrology but yeah namaste